I'm gonna do my nails and I'm going to do them um, Alice and Wonderland inspired but camping plates they're they're basically metal sheets that are engraved and I'll show you how to use them if you haven't seen them before but I have two that are actually Alice inspired so getting started gonna do ah here here's some stripes one of my biggest tips is just to kind of loosen the um, the nail polish bottles before you start. Let's let that refresh while I do this. So I'm gonna paint the base for the ones that have the gears and the clocks white. And I might do a streak of blue through them. And then I am I was thinking of stamping in gold. Let's do this, some maroon. Ooh, that's a good one. This is a new polish. So I read the synopsis of the new movie, the new uh, Through the Looking Glass, the Alice movie, and it has a lot to do with time. So there's a lot of like stealing the time, like a time turner kind of thing and clocks. And so we'll do a couple of the different clocks. Um, and then I was thinking of these like just kind of abstract designs also. I don't really know what I'm doing, you guys, if you are wondering. I'm just someone that likes to do my nails. I don't know much. I've learned it all through trial and error and mostly just like late night scrolling on Instagram. We were going to use this one for the uh, stripes. I probably, if I was smart, I, I should have cleaned these off um, before I started. These and plates, um, when it's like that. so. Some days, if you watch my very, very first one that I did live, it was like magic. Everything happened so easily. Everything turned out so nice. That is not normally how it is. But last week's was exceptionally bad. I think it also has to do with your mood and how relaxed you was. You are. Let me do a swipe of this on the white nails. Because we were going to do gears and clocks on the white nails. stamper which is awesome because you can see through to exactly where you're stamping but it um, it doesn't always pick up the designs really well so I also have this other stamper um, which I have never had a problem picking up the designs with so I just am taking my tape to this damper heads to remove any lint or anything that might be stuck to it um, it'll be listed in the description. Um, I also have a blog post that I have written that has all my favorite brands and it kind of goes through the basics of nail stamping. So you can go look at that. You can pin it if you want. Um, up really nicely so I'm gonna take this design off because I don't want that on my nails and I'm just gonna roll it so that turned out kind of cute so see how that's not totally on is it focusing enough okay so I'm just gonna use my finger and pat it down in place 
cut it. The trick I'm going to use just regular old scotch tape to take off any that is on my skin. Ooh, that looks pretty and then there's more left so I think I'm just gonna stamp the purple right there is it focusing for you guys and we're giving one more try with the see-through nail stamper if it doesn't work I'm gonna do the pink one for my thumb okay oh that's better more or less filled in I think just sometimes uh, you tap it and it just seems like it's hanging off a little so I just kind of tap it with my nail this nail stamping polish is um, it's thicker than your normal nail polish um, So you brush it on, you swipe it with the scraper. You can also use a old credit card or gift card, something like that. Um, but I do like this little scraper. If you're buying stuff from the MoU store anyways, I would just add it on because um, it works great. Okay, okay. Going fast. I tried to do it on the edge so that I didn't have that much to clean up. That's right, I feel terrible. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm just going to do the last top coat. I like to do a 